Hi, Adam here from Inner Space Explorers. You can see the topic of this uh, video in the background there again. Um, after one of the last videos where um, I was talking in front of uh, the cabinets behind me, I received a lot of emails from people asking about this Aquacep back there. And uh, they were like, is this your scooter? If it is your scooter, why is it there on display? What type of scooter are you using? What's the best expedition scooter? What's the best scooter for technical diving? What's with the scooter you used in the channel? Do you really use this leaf feed scooter that you really recently tested? And so on and so on and so on. There's lots of scooter questions. And I thought it's probably a good topic um, to finally talk about this. I always have a bit of an issue with these things because Obviously, I don't want to badmouth anybody or any brand or, um, I mean, once you give a recommendation, you normally also have to say something negative because there's obviously reasons why you don't use certain things. And that's what I want to avoid because that's a bad habit, bad business, and actually not what I, not what I want to do. So um, I'll try to do this as diplomatic as possible. And the other thing is <clears throat> that it's not, it's not just about the quality of the product. Um, it's also, especially in the diving industry, a lot of times it's about the company behind. To give you an example, I have a dry suit in the basement that I consider one of the best dry suits I ever had in my entire life, but I would never, never, ever consider buying the same suit again because the company behind is a total disaster. It was the worst customer experience I ever had in my life. And um, so I would never, ever touch that, that brand Again, uh, also the suit's perfect, but I mean, what does it help if I have a perfect suit and if the shit hits the fan, I don't get any support from the, uh, from the brand. So yeah, back to scooters. Um, that aqua set that you see up there is, uh, is my baby. <laughs> so to give you a better understanding, I mean, the Aquastep was a super old scooter. It was like one of the one of the earliest scooters available on the market. And I was fortunate enough, and I used to live in the US, uh, to work for one of the big treasure hunters. And they had one of these Aquastep 714T, but the twins, so two uh, next to each other. And they had a magnetometer mounted it underneath. So being 19 years living there and being able to work with this tool was just a blast, um, mind-blowing experience. And that's how I fell in love with these scooters. And then I realized that the gentleman building them um, is actually from Munich, so from my hometown. So when I came back, uh, obviously the first thing I did was buy one of those. And I've been using Aquasub scooters for a long, long time. The original owner passed away, I think 15 years or so ago, probably longer. And um, I'm still in contact with his family, but uh, they're not making these scooters anymore. So the last um, one that I had was an ST36180, uh, which describes it's a, a 36 volt model that uh, stepped rated to 180 meters. And I loved that scooter, that was awesome. But same thing here, I mean, the brand at some point didn't exist anymore. And then, uh, so, I mean, you upgrade to more modern systems, etc. Also, it was a fantastic scooter. This particular baby there is on display and that's a special one. If you Google Aquacep and you find Aquacep on Wikipedia, you found a picture of an Aquacep and it's this one. And that's a brand new, never fully assembled, so no batteries, never been in the water, brand new Aquacep LT30 that I got my hands on and uh, obviously it's there on display and it makes me smile every time I I go by and um, so that I, I obviously don't don't use that scooter it's a display piece but it's fully functional I just have, would have to put batteries in I had it uh, as an external external um, source once running so all good uh, just to make sure it works but uh, it will never go in the water all right so far over that um, do I really use that leaf feed scooter that I tested no um, Yes and no. So as I said in the video, for recreational diving, playing around with the kids, whatever, it's awesome. Maybe for recreational dive, traveling somewhere, awesome. Would I use it for an expedition? For, I mean, a 
the type of diving where the scooter becomes life support equipment uh, where I need it? No, because it just that, that it's not a scooter. It's a toy. It's a very reasonable toy, but it's not a scooter. And um, so the question: What do I use when I when I go scootering? When I when I do something where I need one, and there's actually something coming up. Uh, so. I just published the third episode of the Testis Rack and the next one that I'm um, working on is already, I'm already doing something in the background there is will actually require a scooter because it will be a huge, huge area that I have to search and um, I can't do it by sonar for various reasons. So I have to do it underwater by myself and I need a, a long range scooter to actually cover ground and um, yeah, which scooter? Um, the one that I used in the channel was one of my favorites, um, also the brand, but here it's the same like with the dry suit. It was the perfect company, it was the perfect people behind building the perfect scooter. It was just one great um, solution for everybody who wanted one. And then the company was sold and that ended and it made me sell my scooters. And um, in my opinion, and that's my just personal belief, the best scooter, the best exploration scooter on the market at the moment is Seacraft. So now all the, oh, but I have a different one and it's great. Yeah, fine. All good. There's plenty of awesome scooters out there. My personal Achim opinion, if I would take one today for that upcoming dive, it would be a Seacraft. By far, for me, the best engineered capable scooter. I love it. Um, and uh, especially in combination with the add-ons they have, the navigation, the mapping system, all of that just makes it a perfect tool for this type of diving. Um, there is obviously a ton of other scooters around there. It really depends on your budget. It really depends on what you want to do with it. Do you have to travel with it? Do you have to fly with it? How many do you need because you're diving in a team, etc., 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 etc. How simple does this unit has to be? I can remember back in the day there was a scooter, um, I think it was called Multitech. It looked like a like a space shuttle. The look was fantastic, and I was driving one. It was also great. But back in that day, that was a rel relatively complicated unit, and there was a lot of issues. So, yeah, do you want that if you're I don't know in some remote location and the thing just has to work? Probably not. Um, I still like the old Gavins. Um, like not not Gavin today. Actually, I have no experience with them, but uh, the old. Um, as you know, I'm from the Woodville Cosplay Project. That's just a very simple, very rugged scooter. Not much that can go wrong. Obviously, with the lead acid batteries, that's completely Stone Edge technology. But hey, sometimes Stone Edge technology works. And these scooters are sold today for relatively cheap. You can upgrade them with better batteries. Still a fantastic unit uh, to dive. Um, same goes for the old Aquaceps. Fantastic scooters. There's plenty of them flying around that still work. Uh, if you take good care of them, if you change the batteries at some point, maybe upgrade them to more modern ones, they can last for a diver's life. So I don't want to go too much into this brand thing. So um, the question was, what would I use? I would use the Seacraft. Um, but again, it's a super expensive um, very professional tools so for somebody that's like, oh, when I go a little bit scootering, it's probably the wrong tool. So there's um, there's there's so many different um, manufacturers. There's the carbon scooter from Wings and More, which I only hear awesome things about. Um, there's I think Diver Tuck. Uh, I have a friend who has one, really likes it. I never had my hands on it. Um, then obviously Bonix is still around. Um, yeah, Suix um, can't can't be bad scooters. They are on the market for a very long time, so obviously they work. Um, and a couple of other ones. So it's the the choice is really up to you. You have to test the equipment, and you have to make sure you buy something that fits your needs. 
and your budget. That's a huge difference. You can buy scooters from, I would say, a little bit over a grand to 10 grand. Um, so yeah, I mean, there's a huge difference and obviously a huge difference in what you can do with them and what you have to do with them, what you want to do with them. And uh, it's always worth considering what your partner wants and what your partner can afford, um, unless your partner is your wife and you have to buy two anyway. <laughs> but um, so it's really hard to give a proper recommendation there. So I hope I answered the question, first of all, for the Aquasep. Second, what I would do or what I do. And um, yeah, if you have questions, comments, if you have the scooter brand that I missed in here, please put it in the comment section. Really appreciate that. Please subscribe to the channel and hit that little like button and the notification bell. Other than that, take care, safe scootering, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.